chiller is one of the main equipments of the building's air conditioner. The chiller function is to produce chilled water which will be used by the air handling unit to cool the air in the building. There are four main components in an air-cooled chiller. The first component is the evaporator. The evaporator is a shell and tube heat exchanger where the chilled water is cooled by the refrigerant. The second is a compressor. The compressor is used to increase the pressure of the refrigerant coming out of the evaporator. The third is the condenser. The condenser is a component to release the heat from the refrigerant to the air. The fourth is the expansion valve. Expansion valve is a valve to lower the refrigerant pressure entering the evaporator. How the four components of an air-cooled chiller cool chilled water. You can see how it works in the following image. Air handling unit is the equipment to cool the air in the building. To cool the air, the heat in the air needs to be absorbed. Chilled water is cooling water used to absorb heat from the air inside the building and air handling unit, which cause chilled water temperatures to increase. The chilled water carries the heat to evaporator. When chilled water is in the evaporator, the liquid refrigerant from expansion valve enters the evaporator. The refrigerant has a very cold temperature when it enters the evaporator. As a result of the heat absorbed from chilled water, the temperature of the refrigerant increases to the temperature of evaporation and evaporates. The refrigerant vapor exits the evaporator to the compressor. A compressor is a device for increasing the pressure of gaseous substance. After exiting the compressor, the pressure from the refrigerant vapor is increases. According to the thermodynamic properties of the refrigerant, as the vapor pressure of the refrigerant increases, its temperature also increases dramatically. This hot refrigerant vapor is blown into the condenser. In the condenser, the high temperature refrigerant vapor is passed through the thin tube heat exchanger. When high temperature refrigerant vapor flows inside the tubing of heat exchanger, the fan sucks air in the inner cavity, causing air to flow through the cooling fins. The air passing through the cooling fins will absorb the heat from the refrigerant vapor. This makes the temperature of the refrigerant vapor drop. Cooling refrigerant vapor flows back into the evaporator. On the way to the evaporator, the refrigerant vapor is choked by an expansion valve. Expansion valve is a valve that serves to choke the refrigerant vapor flow. As a result, the pressure after the expansion valve is lower. According to the thermodynamic properties of the refrigerant, 
as the vapor pressure of the refrigerant decreases. Its temperature also decreased dramatically. The temperature drops of the refrigerant reaches condensation temperature, thus causing a phase change from the vapor phase to the liquid phase. The cold liquid refrigerant then flows into the evaporator to cool the chilled water again. In the world of air conditioning, there are two types of chillers used, namely water-cooled chiller and air-cooled chiller. The difference is the fluid used to release heat in the condenser. Where the water-cooled chilled uses water and air-cooled chiller uses air. Air-cooled chiller removes heat from the chilled water using outdoor air directly. Air-cooled chiller is usually placed at the top of the building. The refrigerant is a substance where the evaporation process and the condensation process are utilized for the heat transfer process in the cooling or heating system. Thank you. If you like the video, please click like and subscribe.